You see, SFCs can now can repair things like uh, corrupt DLL files, .exe files, .sys files, and so on. Now, it's important to remember that SFCs can now cannot repair your photos, your videos, and so on, but only protected system files. All right, now for the fun part. To run the SFC scan now command, right click the start button and then select terminal with admin privileges. And before running this command, the SFC scan now command, Microsoft recommends that you run the DISM tool first. The reason is because SFC scan now gets the correct versions of files from the component store. So if it's broken or has corrupt files itself, then SFC scan now would not work properly. All right, so if the component store is in fact broken, use this command to fix it, the restore health command. This command will use Windows Update to fix the file corruptions in the component store by using the correct files from Microsoft Internet servers. And finally, after making sure that the component store is in fact working, go ahead and use the SFC scan now command to repair corrupt or missing protected system files. But while the SFC scan now tool is useful, there are many other tools to fix your PC. So definitely be flexible as to which tools you use. For more videos like this, subscribe and thanks for watching.